Hello, I'm Daryl Leary. Okay, I thought I would shed some light on the trolls. We all know about the trolls. The trolls are an epidemic in Periscope. And they are a nuisance. Well, it turns out that the trolls, for the most part, are not nice people. Not at all. Uh, these are very not nice people in real life as well uh there was there was a study that was published in the journal of personality and individual differences and in this study what they did is they found a number of participants i don't know how many but they found participants who enjoyed trolling online and what they found out after psychiatrically evaluating each of the participants is that they all shared strong traits the majority of them sorry not all of them the majority of them shared strong traits with the dark tetrad now the dark tetrad includes Machiavellian tendencies and if you're unfamiliar with that that means the tendency to be devious scheming two-faced tricky unscrupulous scheming they all Part of the dark tetrad is also psychopathy. That means acting with no empathy or remorse. Also, sadism is another trait of the dark tetrad. That, that means sadism, a sadist is someone who enjoys inflicting pain on other people. They actually enjoy it. They, they get pleasure when other people are in pain. And last but not least, the last trait of the dark tetrad is narcissism. Now, the good news is that only 5% of the, of the online community are trolls. So they don't make up the majority, but they are the loudest audience. Um, the, the thing about it is, is, is that this is not all trolls. But most trolls have very strong personality traits with the Dark Tetrad. These are absolutely not nice people at all. These are very dark people. And, and platforms like Periscope, for example, gives them a safe place because there is no authority. There's no accountability. And under, under an anonymity... There can be no accountability. If no one can seek them out, if no one can find out who they are, then there's 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 no there's there's no no means of penalizing them. So the fact that they go anonymously, like most trolls, you know, they put up fake profile pictures and come up with fake names, usually uh pun names. Um that's that's their means of of being anonymous because they know that the behaviors they do would be seen as wrong in a social context where other people can see and identify who they are but under anonymity people don't know who they are so they have this safe place where they can act out their darker nature the best the best thing we can do with trolls is ignore and block them. That's the best thing. If everybody ignored and blocked the trolls, then there would be no attention for them. There would be no reaction for them. There'd be no means for them to seek out their sadist nature and, and, and elicit some type of reaction from us. Hey, X Abyss, thank you for, for checking out my scope. I appreciate it. So we have to ignore and block. This is really important. If everybody ignored and blocked the trolls, they would come to Periscope and they wouldn't be able to enter any broadcasts once they did something inappropriate. Eventually word would get around and the population of trolls would drop dramatically. Uh, the forums that have the least amount of troll or trolling behaviors are those forums that are the most heavily moderated. So when other people become part of the moderation process in, in penalizing uh, those trolls, you know, uh, verbally, for example, 
then the number of, of trolling behaviors drops dramatically. Trolls are attention seekers. I was just talking about how there was a study that showed that the majority of trolls actually share strong traits of the dark tetrad, Machiavellian tendencies, psycho psychopathy, sadism, and narcissism. <clears throat> now, I'm not. Uh, this is this is this is the part where I get really un unscientific. Because um, because I don't have any research to back up what I'm going to say next. But the first part of what I said was backed up by research. But if I were to attempt to profile most of the tro trolls I've seen on, on Periscope, um, I would wager a guess that the majority of them are male between 13 and 18. And the reason I say that is based on what I've observed about their their vocabulary, the amount of of vocabulary that they they have, their usage of language, and because there's there's a bit of a drop of empathy in in boys around the age of fifteen sixteen years old, um, in 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 male adolescents between fifteen and sixteen, empathy drops a little bit. And then starts to climb back up again. Um, but that's 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 only my guessing. That's not backed up by research. Anyways, I thought I would shed some light with you guys on trolls because we all wonder who are these people, and why do they do what they do? Well, they want a reaction. <laughs> I might be onto something. Well, thank you everybody who's been watching. I appreciate it very much and uh, take care of yourselves. I'm Daryl Leary.